I want to show you another way that IntelliJ really helps you out when you're writing code, and that's with organizing your imports and formatting your code. So let's take an example here, and let's just go ahead and import a package. So in Java, when you need to pull in libraries from another package, you need to be able to import it so the Java language doesn't just pull everything in for you because you probably don't want to use everything. And that would be that would turn your programs into very large applications. So as we need things, we pull them in. So let's just say that I needed a bunch of stuff out of the java.util package. And I'm going to grab everything out of that package, which is a lot. So the first thing that you see is it's kind of grayed out. And that's telling us that we've imported a particular class, or we've imported a particular package, or a set of classes, and we're not using them. So that's going to tell us right away that we're not using them. But let's say that we started to. So I'm going to actually just type out some code here. Don't matter what it is. It's just really a list of names. So all we're doing is grabbing some arrays, dot as list. And we're saying Dan, Joe, Andy. And then we're taking those and turning them into a stream that we can then filter and we'll just say s.length we want all the names where the length is say three so that should find us Dan and Joe and exclude Andy and we'll say for each and I'm just gonna say system dot out print line and that should be good all right, now that we are actually using some classes from the java.util package, we can see that it's no longer gray squiggly lined out. That's because we're using them. But again, we're doing something that we shouldn't be doing here, and we're using classes where we've imported the entire package when we're only using a couple classes here. So one other way that we can fix that is we can go up to code, and we can go to organize imports or optimize imports, and it'll see it'll split that declaration where we're kind of importing everything into just importing what we need in this class, which is really handy. So if we save that and go ahead and run, we're going to see our developer here and then just a print of Dan and Joe. So that's good. So that's kind of how IntelliJ can help us with imports. And that little handy shortcut there is always good to see. So optimize imports if you're looking at a class and maybe you had imported some packages before a quick shortcut will go ahead and optimize all of those for you so that's one so another thing that can help us out is kind of cleaning up some of the formatting let's say we had another developer in here and they did a bunch of stuff like this and we got this and we got this and then we have somebody who likes to write like this Let's say they like to have they're one of these kind of people and they like to write their you know there's two types of people in this world people who have their uh, braces that look like this and on the other ones that look like this and these are the wrong people <laughs> just a little inside joke so anyways we have some really odd formatting going on here, and maybe we did something like this. All right, so we have this we have this class here, and we got a bunch of formatting issues going on. Instead of fixing them ourselves, we can easily come up to code and reformat code, and it'll fix everything for us. So that's pretty cool as well. So just two little small tips on both optimizing imports and formatting your code that makes working in IntelliJ just a little bit easier than writing it by hand yourself. So with that, let's go ahead and move on.